Hello students, so I'm your teacher Tasha here. So today we'll be looking at science here for DLP. So before I'm starting my lesson, don't forget to subscribe and share and also like this video. Okay, so let's continue. So for today's content, we'll be looking at uh, division of observation and classifying. And then we also will be looking at measure and use, use numbers. And also inferences. So all of these uh, falls under science process skills year 4 for DLP class. Okay, let's start. So revision for observation. So we're going to look what is the observation or what is the definition of observation. So definition of observation is using the sense of sight, hearing, touch, taste or smell to gather information about object and phenomena. So you use your five senses to observe to gain information about an object or phenomena during an experiment. Okay, so let's see what are the five senses. First, sense of sight, sense of touch, sense of hearing, sense of taste, and sense of smell. So we use all these senses to uh, do the observation. So we need these senses to do the observation. Let's continue to classifying. What is classifying? Using observation to group objects or phenomena according to similarities and differences. Hereby, what they are saying, trying to say is, we will have to group an object, okay, using their similarities and also differences according to their uh, characteristic. So that is inference. Let's go to today's topic, which is measure and use numbers. So what is measure and use numbers? What is the definition? So let's see. Making quantitative observations using numbers and tools with standard units. So this measurement makes observation more precise. So what does it mean by, meant by quantitative? So, you have to remember, if it's quantitative means, it have to use number. So, it's a quantitative observation, okay, using numbers and tool, tools with standard units. So, that is quantitative and the observation also makes the measurement more precise. So, you have to remember that quantitative use numbers. Always remember that. And also, how about the tools? So, the tools are rulers, measuring cylinders, things that we use to measure the object. So, you can think of three other examples of measuring tools. Okay. Next one is standard units. What are standard units? Standard units are examples are centimeters and also kilogram. There are many more other examples of standard units. So, okay. So, how do we take these measurements precisely? So, we look at the standard unit first. So, standard units for weights are kilogram, which is kg and gram. We use G. Standard units for length or distance are kilometer, meter, centimeter and millimeter. Standard units for volume are centimeter cube. And standard unit for liquid are liter and milliliter. Okay, so how do we read measurement precisely? So I'm using here is a measuring cylinder. So we're gonna look how we uh, take measurement precisely for measuring cylinder. So you must read the meniscus at eye level with the top of the water to avoid any error. Parallax errors occurs when you read measurement wrongly. So you can look at this picture. So the right way is your eye level is exactly at the top of the water. So if you are taking, uh, if you are putting your eye level above or below the water level, so it is wrong way. So it will occur a uh, parallax error which will make you to take measurement wrongly. So as you can see here, so this is a measuring cylinder with uh, water. So, to look at the meniscus, so this is the meniscus. So, here it is meniscus. So, this is the meniscus here. So, where you have to read is at this level. Okay. 
so this level you have to read at this level so then only you will receive a precise measurement uh, reading okay okay so well that one is for measuring cylinder for how about a ruler so when you're using a ruler your eyes have, have to be 90 degrees and also straight it cannot be above or also below so which one is the correct eye position is the middle one it have to be straight then only you will get the correct uh, reading okay so for this activity uh, you can use any papers over there so let's see what are the measurement for this one eh? so this one is 700 kilogram 5 cm uh, 12 cubic centimeter and 14 millimeter okay this is the one of the answers i give you so how we want to change so this one is wrong okay it's supposed to be 700 gram so here we can find the reading is 0 0.7 kilogram so one kilogram is equal to thousand gram so when we uh, multiply 0 0.7 uh, multiplied by thousand you'll get 700 grams so that will be the answer how well the activity 3 they are asking for this uh, measurement of the weight of the stone so for this you have to take the uh, water displacement after the stone uh, placed in so 52 centimeter cube minus 40 centimeter cube which will give you the answer that is 12 centimeter cube and for this one the measurement they are given is m uh, centimeter but we want the answer in millimeter so you can use 1.4 cm here you can take the reading here and you have to change the centimeter to millimeter so 1.4 1 centimeter is equals to 10 millimeter so 1.4 times by 10 so 1 times 4 times by 10 uh, will get the 14 millimeter which is the correct answer so for this activity or worksheet you can uh, comment below i can send it to you by email okay how about inference so inference is uh, using data collection and previous experience to conclude and explain an event so it's like we are giving a reasoning for the observation that we have obtained so this uh, definition is uh, a bit uh, tougher to understand so just remember if inference you always have to ask why why is this happening why is the for example i give you a book okay a book is wet so our observation is that book is wet why why the book is wet so the answer for the why is maybe the water have uh, fallen on the uh, dripped on the book so that is your ex inf inference so always ask why when you're answering questions of inferences so you have to remember inferences made may be true or false it doesn't be have to be have to be always true it may be false also so we have to conduct the experiment to justify the uh, inference hypothesis okay so here we can see a uh, leaf so let's see so observation made from this leaf are uh, leaf has holes so now to make an inference you have to ask why why the leaf has holes why so one of the answer may be the leaf is eaten by the caterpillar so that's why it has hole so you can even think some other uh, um, answers for the inference it might be right i'm just giving an example over here so whenever you are answering an inference question you also always have to ask why next one you can see a dog picture so from this observation we know that the dog looks thin now you have to ask why to answer the inference question why the dog looks thin maybe the dog has not eaten for days so that's why it looks thin or maybe the owner didn't give him any food so those are the one of the answers so inference doesn't have to be uh, right or wrong so but then it have to be related to what would your observation that he has given okay and the next one example of inference question they're giving here and they're asking of their given observation that after a week leaves of plant look yellowish so here we can see a plant inside a black plastic bag so we have to 
know that if it's a black plastic bag sunlight cannot enter the plastic bag plastic bag for the plant so the plant will not be uh, receiving a sufficient uh, sunlight so you have to think in that term so for the inference you can say the plant did not receive enough enough sunlight so you always have to relate the question uh, answers to your experiment and also your observation you have to make sense and you always have to ask why so from this science from this uh, lesson we have to we can know that observation uh, are made using these five senses of uh, five senses which is sense of sight hearing touch and smell while classifying we group an object according to their similarities and also differences according to their characteristic while measure and measure and use number we use, we make quantitative observation using numbers and tools and send it to units so in this one we have to remember about numbers tools that you are using and also standard using whenever you make the particular uh, experiment and the last one is inference inference you ask uh, it's a reasoning uh, to your observation why is, does it happen so that's all for today uh, thank you thank you for listening to teacher so if you have any question related to this slide you can just comment below don't forget to forget to share like and also subscribe thank you